Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. I'm Tennille. I'm Sean. And last time we... We blitzed our hearts out. We blitzed a lot. Also got Riku back on the team. Yeah. In a permanent fashion. Uh, so let's finish exploring Guana Salam. Yeah, because there's still more to look around here and we didn't go in all the places. Because I had to blitz. Well, yeah, we already were here. It's just the shop. Yep. Takes us back over to Seymour's place. Love to step away from the Guado Glories and play for a different team once in a while. Why, if they paid me enough, I'd even play for the Albed. All right, we're not gonna sign you. Oh I mean, yeah, what, what were you? What, what, what do you have to say? Hello. You find it difficult telling a Guado apart, don't you? I suppose you think we all look the same. I... no. I wasn't thinking that, no. Not even a little bit. As the sole protectors of the Far Plane, the Guado are the supreme race of Spira. Don't like that! <laughs> We're fundamentally different from the populous humans and the hulking Ronso. But that's an old story. Now the Guado seek harmony with other races. Yeah, interesting to note, um, and something that's kind of touched on, but not talked about a lot. Before, uh, like very recently, the Guado have actually started working with the other races of Spira. Mm -hmm. But like before this, they were very seclusion-y and Secluded? Yeah, secluded and... Exclusionary? Yeah. Oh, there's also a chest back there. And... Albed Primer 13. Wow, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Anyways, S is M. Now we're... A something. Yeah. 3,000 gil, and I'm guessing this is another one of the players. Yep. So, you play for the Besaid Orox, you're Titus, right? So you have the tournament. Let's blitz sometime. Those fiends really made a mess. Some of my teammates were badly hurt. I mean, we we did. We just blitzed. Yeah. Last episode. We even faced you guys, didn't we? I think so. We fought the Guado, right? There's another Yeah. There's another one of their teammates. Another player. Doing sprints. Humans, humans, a summoner and her guardians. Yes? Wait, I know. Kee hee hee. What? I don't know, man. I don't know what her deal is. I suppose you think we look odd, don't you? That's fine. We Guado are used to that sort of thing. Since embracing Yevon, we Guado have learned the joy that is Blitzball. Yeah, so they also weren't... In the Blitzball League. Blitzball League or uh, practicing Yevon. Mm-hmm. So it makes Maester Seymour pretty interesting because his dad was a Maester of Yevon. Well, and like, I think it's been covered he's at this like point. The first one. Just like they said that Jiskel was fostering relationships between Man and Guado. Mm -hmm. So I think Jiskel was the first one to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're ready to go to Seymour's house now. Yeah. Let's go. Sorry, we just had to blitz and explore your entire uh, civilization. <laughs> Hope that's okay. Also, the in the, like their houses and stuff are really cool. Mm -hmm. I like these tree people. Yeah. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. No, they don't. Mr. Titus Seymour doesn't look like them, though. No. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. Definitely explains why Seymour looks... A little bit different. Yeah. It's because he's half Guado. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? Can you talk to them again? I don't like the smell. Yeah, that's it, Waka. Okay. Anything else, Lulu? The last leader, Maester Jiskel, wed a human woman. 
Choose Seymour's mother. Stay close to Yuna. I wonder what smells so nice. <laughs> she talks. I love her talking with her hands. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Walks into a man's house. This guy sucks! I hate this guy! Why does he want to see me? I don't know, but he does give off very bad vibes. If the sinister music playing right now didn't tell you that. Trommel will be back shortly. Please be patient. These are Lord Seymour's private chambers. You may not enter. Well, fine then. This way, please. This way, please. I like how there's a different line read for that. Mm-hmm. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. Lulu? There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing, then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin, too? Well, there are many things I do not know. But and I do Xanarkin know you're an idiot. <laughs> is one of those things. <laughs> I suppose I can't say what I think, either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people yeah i know also fancy room indeed what's up riku mm, this is gross. <laughs> just helping herself no thoughts only food <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing important. Kimari speak no more. Hmm. Kimari. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Maybe he called us here to be dinner. <laughs> no. <laughs> I highly doubt that. <laughs> Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Xanarkand, that unholy city, <laughs> makes you sacrilegious. <laughs> Turns you atheist. to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough, Trommel. Must I always endure such praise?
Welcome. You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. When you think about it, Seymour and Yuna have quite a bit more in common than you'd initially think. Mm -hmm. Very similar backgrounds. Also magic. Yeah. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. As it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Lady Unaleska. She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable Sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. I love the difference in clothing for these two characters. <laughs> It is the epitome of fantasy fashion. <laughs> Man in so much armor, you, can you can't see, see his any face. skin. And woman, Lady, uh, you can see all skin. All skin, barely covering anything. Mm -hmm. So ridiculous. Your face is beat red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! <laughs> you know hey, wait a you second! Must do. Of course. Lady Yuna. No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating Sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. 
A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Get out of here. Seymour guy trying to propose to our Yuna won't have it. Most of them be coming. Where where'd everybody go? Uh presumably they're ready to head out of town. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> Yuna, the high summoner's daughter. Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? Yes. What? No way. We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat Sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the Far Plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? No, this is very clearly just a... Political marriage. Yeah. Nothing about this is based on love, silly Titus. <laughs> Spira ain't got time for love. Wow, I did not see in that chest. And hey, you got eight lightning marbles. Because, yeah, those because will be now handy. we have uh, Riku. Riku on the team, we can actually really do a lot of stuff with items. Just random items, so. It's yeah, we're, we'll be looking at this stuff here real soon. About, like, actually upgrading it? Yeah. Question. About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there, too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm... <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. These are all fair questions, Titus. Aren't you coming? <sighs> I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. 
Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. Hmm. I like both of their reactions to mm -hmm. this. See you later. You're still here. All right. I, I really appreciate it because it's like, you, we have such a big cast of characters. And they all have different feelings about everything going on. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's very nice. What the? Yeah, that's eerie. <gasps> The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Hmm. Well, before we talk to Yuna. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up the game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. So that actually just changed Brotherhood. Wow, it it's no longer a strength plus five and sensor. It's now a strength plus five, strength plus ten, water strike and sensor. Yep. Wow. A throwaway conversation makes our sword significantly better. Yeah, it does. Also, I don't know how Chapu looks like Titus at all. <laughs> no, like I don't their see face it. is maybe slightly the same, but like their not the body same build color. is kind of similar. Yeah, I I don't know. But also, this is sad. Mm -hmm. Just a sec more. Mm. He is dead. And I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> w what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me with Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Oh, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. 
Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Why don't you try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. Hmm. I think I'll go talk to Yuna so, uh, instead. Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> That means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh, oh. Uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. Uh, huh. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Ah. Uh. I think I just figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so, so I, told I told him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just, Just a, sec, a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a, a sec, sec dear. dear. Ah, uh, go to him. You'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Oof, that's a big bag of complicated emotions. Mm-hmm. Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. <gasps> Lord Jisco! Oh, Lord Jisco! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Lord 
Jiskel. He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> Was that just now? That really Lord Disco? I don't understand how a man like Lord Disco can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Hmm. Hmm. Reminder, Jiskel is Seymour's dad. Yeah. Well. I will go meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna, Jiskel is the Guado's problem, not yours. What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely a way of looking at things. Waka? For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, yeah? Huh? Orin? We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I. What? That again? Yes, if she is to marry. I would want her to marry for love. See? But if Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Hmm. <laughs> so many things. Where's Riku and Kamari? Yeah. This town's only so big. Hey, there you are. When we leave here. We have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know. Oh boy, do I know. I can't stand thunder. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like you might have a bad time. Seriously, where'd Kamari go? Well, let's try the tried and true method of leaving. That did not work. Oh, there's a save point there now. Yeah! That was not there before. Nope! My! Mm. There we was go. Is the Lady Summoner not with you? No. She's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour. Or Lord Seymour. Oh, sh oh, hush, Shalinda. Sorry. That's all right. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa! I gotta tell the others! Alright! There's Kamari! Where are you hiding, bud? <laughs> Just blending into the walls, I guess. Lord Jiskel, please tell me. 
What can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! They say Seymour went to Macarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is, <laughs> why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. <laughs> ah, that's probably it. I love that so much. Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. You know, I gotta say, I, 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 I never, ever picked up that that was supposed to be like the Macarena. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Macarena. I. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Stop moving. Yeah. It's the end of the episode. Ow, my shoulders are sore. Sorry, I didn't mean to beat on you like that. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Join us back here next time as we head on to the Makalania Temple. Through the Thunder Plains. Yeah, it's probably fine. <laughs> See you then. Yeah.